Dear Markiplier, This might not be a video dedicated to you reaching another million subscribers, but... This is a video in celebration for you. We love you so much, and without you, we wouldn't be where we are today. Thank you so much for everything. You are our hero. Together, we came as one and made this for you. Enjoy! Dear Mark Clark, I may not be able to meet you in real life, so this is basically my only chance to talk to you. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you have done for charity in this community and for me. You taught me how to smile and you've changed so many lives, including mine. When people hear Hero, they probably think Batman or Superman. When I hear Hero, I think of you. Heroes save people, and you've definitely saved me. <laughs> so thank you for being my hero and saving me, and also for existing and making videos. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Attempt number 10 at the Markiplier fan video. No one interrupt me, please. <laughs> I am Kayism, and I'm doing this video compilation, or I'm submitting a video for a video fan compilation that someone is doing for you, Mr. Markiplier, assuming you are watching this. And you have done so much good for the community. I mean, you are the only YouTuber I've ever really seen that shows their emotions. And recording this, it doesn't feel awkward because I've attempted it ten times already and because I feel like I could possibly be talking to a friend. Though I know my face will be forgotten as soon as the next person in this video compilation comes along and their face will be forgotten, so on and so forth. There's two things that I really kind of want to say to you that will guarantee not to make me cry. <laughs> One, I have this teacher in Hinsdale, Mr. Todd Barrent, if you would like to look him up. Great with the ladies. Just stroke their hair and they'll swoon, according to him. <laughs> and he gave me, the, well, the entire class, really, this piece of advice. Things don't happen for a reason. You give them a reason for happening. And you've done this with your entire YouTube community career. And it's a beautiful thing. And honestly, wherever he is, depending on your views of the afterlife and death and such, your dad is so proud of you. Because you are this great, amazing man. A type of man the boys of my generation should aspire to grow up to be like. You're wonderful. <laughs> That's all I can really say. I mean, my going on 50 year old aunt watches you. That's amazing. You have. You're amazing, really. And please take a day off sometimes. You deserve it. No, no hot sauce, please. Thank you, Mark, for everything. Hey, Mark. Congratulations on over 7 million subscribers. That's so crazy. And I'm just so proud.
of you and it's incredible. Your videos make me laugh on a daily basis and watching your videos is basically the only thing that I look forward to during the day and I just wanted to say thank you so much for being there and you're just amazing. I love you so much. Hi Mark, it's my name's Amanda and I'd just like to say I'm a big fan of yours and one thing I want to make out to you and basically say is thank you for everything really. Um, you've helped me through a lot and I'd tell you the story but I'd rather say it in person, basically say everything that's happened and how you've kind of helped me through everything. Um, but I do want to say this. You live in LA. You've probably heard of VidCon before. So I wanted to know, are you going to VidCon? Will you be able to go to VidCon? Um, and I'd like also to say that I'm going to VidCon. VidCon is held at the Anaheim Convention Center where you went to BlizzCon. So, I'm sure you've, like, kind of gotten used to somewhat of the area. <laughs> um, and the reason I'm bringing up VidCon is because I want to meet you. And basically thank you and tell you my story in person. And I wanted to say that I'm not able to go to PAX and other things like that, so... If you can go to VidCon, and I'm sure there's a lot more people than me that want you to go to VidCon as well, that would really love to meet you. So, I'd like to say that. Thank you, Mark, for everything. Love you. And hopefully, I get to see you soon. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! My name's Rebecca, a fan of yours from Canada, and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for all of the laughs and all the smiles of your videos, and thank you for making a great community to be a part of. The community that you've been able to have is so wonderful, and they're so friendly, and they're so talented. And I'm glad to be a part of that community. I'm glad that I'm able to watch your videos. I can come home and I can sit down and I can see your videos and they just make me laugh. They make me smile because you're a great person. You're a great person and your videos are great and you do so many great things for the world. And it's really cool to know that there's a person like that, like you. 
You have been able to brighten up a lot of my really bad days. You've been able to take away a lot of the stress that school's been putting on me. And I'm really grateful to you for that. You've been able to help me get over the stress of my senior year. That I can sit and relax for a while. And just... home and in a place where the world doesn't seem that bad, where drama doesn't exist and nothing bad exists, or I can sit down and watch your videos and work on stuff I need to. I'm able to, you are able to help me and I really do appreciate that. I really do. I've also been able to take away so much stress in my life. There's just been so much going on recently for me, and you've just been able to help me with that, and I really do thank you for that. Because without you, it would be a lot harder to get through. There's just been so much happening, and with you, it just, I can just breathe for a bit. I can watch your videos and just relax and laugh if I need to. And it's just an amazing feeling to know that you're there when I need you, when your videos are there, when I need them. And really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for being able to help me cope with stress, with school, with everything. I really do thank you for that. And that's all I wanted to say. Keep being a great person, Mark. You are so unique. You are so amazing. And you don't need to change. Just keep being the amazing person you are. And really all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. And to quote you on this, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! Hello Markiplier, my name's Alicia and thank you so much for being there through the hardest times of my life and making me smile when I needed the most and making me laugh when I also needed the, the most. Thank you so much and yeah, I love you. Please make videos for me. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! We had the best time, you remember? You remember back when you I told you to go fuck yourself and you didn't? Oh, I thought that was a very clever choice, you know? You and me My name is 
Isabella, and I am a big fan of Mark. When I first came across his channel in 2012, I fell in love with it. Nobody at my school watched him, except for one of my friends. Then I went to middle school the next year. I made tons of new friends who watched Mark, and I was so happy. I watch every video Mark posts, and I'm so happy he's made it to 8 million subscribers. I can't believe he's turning 26 years old, and I hope he has an amazing birthday. He has helped me through depression and hard times. Thank you so much, Mark Fishbach. Without you, I probably wouldn't be alive. I just wanted to tell you I hope you have a good birthday, and happy birthday, and keep posting YouTube videos, please. Thank you for being such a huge inspiration for me. Hey Mark, I've been thinking about doing this for a while and I finally did it because I knew I had to. Anyway, I wrote something for you. It might sound weird as to how I came up with it, which was in a dream and how I saw it. But let me set it up for you. I was sitting in my bed and you just appeared in front of me. And you look me in the eyes and start talking. I can't quite remember what you said, but I stopped you and took your hand into mine. Your hand, bigger than mine, and warm, and welcoming, and I just melted at your touch. But I start speaking. I told you this. Mark, you are a wise man, filled with life and happiness. I wish I was like you, making people smile and laugh while they love moments. My life has had some downpour, but it seems like you bring some light into it. I know it's not cliche, but it's true. I only had a few moments left in life, but you make time slow down for it to last longer than it already should. I have a wonderful life, and I try to make it as best as possible. But my mind gets clouded from darkness, but came in from within. Something from the darkest corner of my mind. It's my suicidal corner. The corner where all will end. I'd rather not get too deep into detail about it. Anyway, you somehow always get me out of it when I'm approaching it. You seem to take my hand and bring me closer with laughter and a peak of light. You distract me from what is real and what I can make possible. You make it a clear path to walk on. Um, the word suicide, it constantly floats into my mind. I can't help it. I um, get the urge, but I always keep myself from not doing it, because if I did, I wouldn't be able to see you. I would rather live to see you forever. My world without you crumbles. It falls into broken pieces. When I first watched your videos, it felt like someone picked up those pieces. You helped me. Put them back together. I might get cut by them here and there, but um, you make them better with hope. I'm an awkward person, but I need hope from you. Once again, I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. I wouldn't be able to write this if I didn't have confidence, but I know that I have good people around and with me. I'm in love with you. Who isn't? But for the reason of happiness that you give me, you smile at me. Well, this is that's what I told you. Now I'm telling what you did. You smiled at me, and you gave me a hug. One that reminded me of the one that I got from you when I met you at Pax South. You didn't need to say anything further for me to be satisfied or fulfilled. You just needed. 
um, you just don't need the same thing. I just needed your actions to make me smile. To wipe away the tears, I did fall. I felt so real to me, and I still remember it. I never want to forget it. And I keep it as a memory because right now that's all I can give. <sighs> I don't need a joke correct every second to make you smile. With you. But, um, I just need you. Just yourself with every flaw and perfection you have. I know that if I ever do meet you again, I want to say these words to you, but knowing myself, they will slip away from my mind and disappear, so this is why I can keep it alive. Mark, if you ever do see this, then you know how much you mean to me and many fans. Pretty much all of them. Mean the world to me, Mark. Every word I'm saying right now is true. And I know every fan that will probably get to this point in the video would probably agree because you did pick up so many pieces, broken pieces that people had, including mine, and you somehow fixed it. You have helped me so much through the time that I've been watching you. I have met so many people that love you just as much. And I've made great friends. And you yeah, know, sometimes people do judge me, but I don't care because I know what's real to me. I no longer have the fear that will judge me because I know that even if I am judged it doesn't matter you gave me confidence I wouldn't be able to do this video if I didn't have confidence it's bizarre now but it's true um When I met Mark at Pack South and I gave you the life size poster drawn with all my heart and you told me you loved it. I knew that I was a good artist. Not a single good word to me that was spoken about it before you even saw it meant anything to me. Because if they say it was good, was it true? Most likely. But if you told me that you liked my drawing, you loved my drawing, then I knew it was true. I don't I know using people's words to be satisfied, even though I know it's true. But it just fulfilled me. But when I met you, I felt like I was on air. Um. My heart just couldn't stop me. I could not stop thinking about it. You made my day. I smile more now than ever because of you. Thank you so much for that. Just thank you so much. I know I'm starting to ramble now for eight minutes. So I'm going to cut it here. So as always, I will see you in the next week. Bye-bye.